there was need of this new station because we used to have only one line from Lugogo. Its capacity had reached a 7 megawatt hour. 7 megawatts was too big for that line. It used to trip on goals off all the time. And find that in a day, like to take like seven hours out. So the need to break that line so that we can have different lines to supply this area, this growing area of Nakawa. When you look at right now what we have and the developments in the area, we have that URI building, it was not there. So right now it's taking two megawatts. When you look at the, the line which supply in Buya, it has 2.5 megawatts. When you go and look at Spear, that line which we call Spear, supplying uh, industrial area of Mukwano, Pepsi Cola, all those industries, it has gone up to 4.2. When you compare the Ligno line which was supplying the entire area of Nakawa, which was only one line, could not take all that load. So there was a need to put a substation in this area so that it can take and support the growth of the area. URA used to complain every day and their consumption was too high on fuel side because the line used to go out all the time because of overload. So right now, they are very happy and all the entire area of Mbuya side, Chinawataka, and the industrial area of Mukwano, power is stable. They can now consume power. On average, find that 30 days, we have only one, just an interruption of one day, just like one hour for maintenance works. So power is very stable. And we still have capacity whereby other growing areas shall be connected here in order to reduce on those areas the growth within the area of this industrial park nearby. Nakawa substation serves URA, serves Mbuya, serves Spear, part of Nakawa industrial area, and Banda area. The current road for this station right now, when you add the total consumption of all the feeders originating from here, we have 8.7 megawatts, but you can take up to 13 megawatts. This is a modern, uh, it's a modern substation, which is automated, well controlled by our station. It's on SCADA, it's on SCADA system, whereby it is monitored 24-7, and all the system inside that indoor is monitored by our, sub, our controller. So the interaction, outages, any abnormalities can be monitored by our controller through our SCADA system.